Hey everybody, welcome back to Run Pet Bath and Beauty. I am here with Little Miss Ava. Hi. <laughs> Hi we are going to make Christmas donuts. I know I've sort of been teasing that, right? Um, you're probably going to see this in October and go, why aren't you making Halloween soap, Sulin? Well, you know, as videos I've said earlier, you know, there was a business issue with a partner. I got returned finally in April. No, March, April, whatever it was. The inventory she never put out at shows, so I don't need to make Halloween, fall, or Christmas soaps because I still have hers um, and a few of, you know, a few bars of each of the ones that I have. Anyway, so the donuts, what we're going to do is, this is going to be 24 ounces of oils. However, the mold that I have is not that much, but we need exactly the same color in order to do, uh, to, in order to have soap dough, put your goggles back on. Please don't take your goggles off, my child. The goggles are still a little bit big on her. You know what I need to do? I need to buy you one of those things that keeps glasses on. How's that? But Ava like is going to be able to pour these donuts, and she's pretty excited. I keep getting her more and more involved. I mean, by the time she's 10, I'm going to say, hey Ava, hey, Ava, I need a loaf of sweet child of mine, and she's going to come here and do it all by herself, aren't you? Yep, and I'm going to do it on camera. And yep, and you're going to do it on camera because you are that sweet. Anyway, so I'm going to do the heat transfer method. Um, Ava's seen it before, but for those of you who don't know what it is, you take your hard oils um, and, or, or butters, which, you know, and you mix your lye water, pour it, after the crystals melt, you pour it immediately in there and you let the heat of the lye water um, melt this and then you put your liquid in, liquid oils in later. This is going to be, we had two options for this Christmas soap. We had Christmas Cabin yeah. and we had a fragrance by Nature's Garden called Elf Sweat. And what did you think Elf Sweat smelled like? You said something like bananas that were dirty in somebody's armpit or something like that. What, did, what exactly did you not remember? So anyway, she chose Christmas Cabin. I'll put the uh, scent notes in the description box below. Okay, so I'm going to get this done and we'll be back once I've split the colors off. Yeah, bye. Eva. Um, stick blend our yogurt and our heavy cream into just our liquid oils. Do you remember how to turn it? There you go. You put, turn it just a little bit more until it locks. There you go. Did you feel that bump? Did you feel it? Okay. Go ahead. I got the cup. Cup? Yeah, just stir it. I don't like it. What do you mean you don't like it? I just never know when it's going to flash because you start and go, baby. Okay. Well, we use the two on the well, hopefully Martin doesn't make, because Judy's going on me. I'm going to have to pull Martin out. Huh? You know, the... I have I have my white stick blender that for the life of me I can't remember what I call her that I make my lotion with. I don't make my lotion with um, I don't know why I just just did that um, that I make my lotion with that has never touched lye. I took it out of the package and it's only ever been used with lotion. It's right here. No, that's Martin. The lotion one. It, oh, you mean on the on the tray? Yeah. Yeah, I have all my lotion stuff ready to go, except for my aloe vera mixed up, uh, measured out. So we will, don't worry, they know we're going to do lotion, and we're going to do bath salts, which is another thing you can help me with, my love. Okay, so let me get this emulsified, and this is a fragrance I've never used before, so I don't know how it's going to go in there. Yep. So that means we're gonna stick blend the color in first, and then we'll hand stir the we'll hand stir Does the, the fragrance. Does the white one um, do um, the flashing? What 
the one I use for lotion? No. Okay, let me do this baby, okay? I'm using number one, but I don't need to stick blend it a lot because we're gonna stick blend the because we're gonna stick blend the color in. So I ba I just got yes, you can put the color in. I just got it to emulsification. Do you remember what emulsification means? Are you hot? See, I told you it gets hot when you soak. Are you okay? Yeah, it's a little bit itchy up well. Oh, okay. Um, emulsification is when the oils and the water mix. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to mix this in half. We're going to do half red donuts and half green donuts. You have to mix the, that with that, the, one of those. I have to be careful, right? Yes. That's all right. I'm going to help you. Okay. So that way you don't hurt yourself. If you burn your hand, nothing will happen if you have gloves on. Right. If you get it on just your hands, you're not going to have to worry about it. But if you get it anywhere else, that just means you have to make sure that you're keeping the blender inside the cup. Okay. Let's put this over here. Um, I think we have a little bit more of one than we do the other. I know I'm being kind of picky, but I really want even amount because I'm going to need it for soap dough. Okay, so I'm using my trial by fire. Pink. Now it looks like I, I have know. more in there. It's not pink, it's red. Red. Keep staying pink. Yeah, it just sort of looks pink. Well, when you scoop okay. it up, it's red. We're going to use about that, well, about that much. And Got it? One. Yep. There you go. Okay. You can put it in the sink. in the sink. Yep. And then there. we're gonna do evergreen. evergreen. Let me move it closer to you. Yeah, the blink closer. There you go. And put it in the <laughs> sink. Look how it splats. <laughs> It does splat, doesn't it? Yeah, it's like we may we may need a little bit more trial by fire. We'll see. Okay. All right, we're gonna do the green first, even though. So we have to burp our blender. Can I do the number two? What if we use two? No, we want to do the number one. Why? So we're gonna do it. You press the button. We need more red than that. She's afraid a little bit of of the light because my sorry had to get over you um my photography light flashes because the stick blender is so um Shiny. is powerful and i have epilepsy and she's afraid to give me a seizure that's better isn't it, it looks like that's a nice and red now hopefully this slows down trace and doesn't speed it up otherwise we're not getting in it into donuts i might not be able to let you pour Why? because if it's too thick it's not going to go in there very well if it's not too thick I maybe we it. shouldn't have done this uh not only with a fragrance we've never used before but uh uh, with the heat transfer method. All right, here we go. So we're going to put half in there and half in there. Can we look at that? <laughs> Woo, that smells pretty. Mm. Can you put Judy over on the other side? Just don't knock your pop over. Okay. Good. I'm putting it on right here. Okay. Have to, I have to put on oh, this is going to be one of those that's oh. going to make it really difficult to uh mix in baby mm -hmm. you might have to just watch me do this one i'm sorry it's okay i know you wanted to help so bad but you are being helpful you know why because i love your company <laughs> and maybe one. and maybe if alex behaves tomorrow we can make lotion together mm -hmm. if he behaves Okay, so here's our donut molds. This is really thick, so I'm going to have to do it. Do 
Oh, you're playing well on the green one. Oh, yeah, I kind of messed it up, didn't I? I wasn't yeah, even thinking. still matches, kind of. See, yeah. red, green. Oh, <laughs> oh I didn't one. even bring them in to see. Who? Our viewers. No, it's still recording. Yeah, I know, but I, can they see what I'm doing? Uh, no. Right, okay, then I need to fix that, don't I? Really covering the face. That's okay. It's getting so thick that uh, it's supposed to do it. I'm just drinking. All right, hold on. Let me uh, bang this. I'm gonna bang this, and I'm gonna bring you guys back. There we go. It was still on, but you yeah, know. I know. I'm just gonna have to fix these donuts that I marked all over. I need to put just a little bit more into this donut. Woo! Mm -hmm. And a little bit. Oh, you know what? I think that's like up on the, the thing. Yep. This is what's going to have to happen. Do you have to um, um, put it in the oven? No. Why would I have to put this in the oven? I don't ever put soap in my oven. Oh, you mean because they're donuts? No, baby. These are soap donuts. Mimi's never made donuts with these molds before. Did you know that? No. Yep. Never, ever, ever. i got to bang this again. Well, that's going to be good enough, I suppose. Oh, you know what? I can move some of this over here. My green is probably setting up like crazy while I'm trying to make these donuts perfect that I can plain. You don't have to make it perfect. It's just I know it doesn't you. have to be perfect, but, you know, Mimi, Mimi sort of likes things to be perfect, doesn't she? Not all awesome. Not all everything no Dude. because because like because because life isn't perfect right i tell you that all the time yeah if my arm is right here and you okay me that it feels so weird does it mm -hmm. all right mimi's got to mix this up can you guys still see it okay i keep having to bang the he heck out of these <laughs> like someone's it's Rolling sort of like, it. it's sort of like, you know, just sort of coming out of there. Not like the wet. I wonder if that elf sweat would have made it easier. I think it's because I just did the, heat did the, transfer. yeah, the heat transfer method. You should have. And I definitely it. will need to oh. scrape this off, this, uh, this mold, because I know I put too much into some of these. All right, I'm gonna bang it. Oh no! <laughs> yep. I'm gonna get as much off of there as I possibly can, because you know why? We need to have that uh, okay. soap dough. Yeah. We need to have at least a little bit of green soap dough, anyway. Doesn't have to be perfect, just has to be That's okay. What I ate. Because I'm because what Mimi will do with these donuts, I think I just got soap on your glove, so be careful. Use the washcloth and wipe your glove off. I don't have any. Well, have please do what I asked you to do. Just wipe your glove off with the uh, Thank you. Uh. I'd rather be safe than sorry, right? Yeah. Yep. Ugh. Okay, I'm going to bang it one more time and explain to you what I'm going to do. Okay, so what's going to happen is usually with donuts, I let them sit at least 48 hours the way I do with, uh, oh, what the heck was it? I just had it in my head and it flashed out. See, when your train just derails, it just derails. My pies, that's what it was. I usually let them, you know, be uh, uh, saponify for that long. And then what I'll do when I pull them out, I will take a potato peeler to the sides and then I will plane each and every one of them because I've got a lot of bumpies here. And all those bumpies need to come off. So, alrighty, gang. I'm sorry you didn't get to help very much, Ava, my love. 
You know what I can do? Hmm? I can let you choose tomorrow when we do soap gel. I can let you choose what decorations we're going to put on them, okay? All right. Thanks, guys. From here. Okay, guys. We are go whoop, we are going to uh, frost these donuts. Unfortunately, Ava can't be here with me. But we are going to do the heat transfer method. Um, it just makes it easier for me. Actually, I'm going to uncover everything really quick. I have to drop my yogurt and my heavy cream into these soft oils really quick. And we will get to every, hold on one second, let me grab my cream. Okay, let me grab my cream. Yeah, see I use powdered. Not very much oil there. Plus we already have it in the actual donut. But let me put my yogurt in there. Okay. Now, um, like I said, I'm going to do the heat transfer method. Not going to make you watch it or anything. But when I come back, um, we'll go over what we're going to do with the piping. So I will see you in a few. Okay, guys. Judy is officially completely broken. <laughs> I, when I washed her, one of the pieces completely fell out of the blade part. So we're going to be, use Martin, be using Martin for the time being. So I am going to stick blend my yogurt and my heavy cream into my liquid oils and pour it into the bucket and I'll come back um, once that is done. Get all this in there. But I'm going to keep this cup out. I'm going to scrape it out really good because um, I'm going to mix one of my colors because we are using two colors in this in the piping. So. All right, let me get this blended up. See, Martin is more complicated because he's like got a serious arrow that you can't just like, you know, put it wherever you want to. Anyway, hold on. Sure as heck works faster than Judy does. <laughs> That's for sure. <laughs> but it was like less than 10 seconds. Okay. So I'm going to split this as evenly as possible. We'll see. Because um, we're going to do both gold and white. That way we have our red, we have our green, we have our gold, and we have our white for our Christmas colors. And Lauren and I threw around a couple of ideas as far as like how we were going to do the donuts. Like, do we want, you know, three complete red donuts and three complete green donuts? Or do we want to mix a couple? Like, you know, because I'm going to have a total of six donuts. So, what I want to... Wow, that's pretty good. Woohoo, it's lit. <laughs> so, here's my weight. And I'm going to use Gold Coast Holiday. But what I'm going to do with uh, donuts is two of them are, are going to be, you know, one side of the donut will be green, the other side of it will be red. And I'm going to switch them, like red on the bottom on one, green on the top, and then green on the bottom and red on the top. And then I'm just going to make the basic, um, woo! make the basic, you know, two red ones, two green ones. So we'll see how that goes. Um, this shouldn't take long, I hope, at least with, you know, it being the heat transfer method, so we'll see. I wanted to make sure to get this gold a little bit more blended because, you know, TD sets up faster because we will be using a Russian piping ball tip. Russian ball tip, yes. That's what they are called. And what I'm going to do is, well, I'll show you. I'll show you when uh, we get to that point. Let me check this. Oh, yeah, they're almost the same consistency. Actually, I might even have to stick blend the white a little bit more. Yeah, I'm going to have to stick blend this white 
just a little bit more. So let me wipe off Martin. But while we wait for this piping to set up until I can get it into some um, press and seal, we are going to, I'm going to show you how we're going to do the donuts. Wow, that really is still thin. How is that still so thin? Hold on. Now let's hope that this is, yeah, this is thick. Okay. Alrighty then. But I'm going to show you what we're going to do with the donuts in order to get them prepped. Yeah, that's way better. Because if I stir this, it gets... Okay. Anyway, here, we're going to do this. <laughs> Let me put Martin over here. Ow, my shoulder hurt my shoulder so my shoulder's a little uh, iffy I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to lay wax paper out actually let me do that instead and then we'll do the donuts on the wax paper if I can there we go boy I'm really with it tonight aren't I and this is just so I can get them Done. Some of them I need to use my potato peeler on really quick. I did plane them all. So all of them have been planed. So I don't have to worry about that part. I'm pretty sure mo that was the one that had the major issue with the red ones. Oh, this has an issue. It was like the red ones had more of an issue than the, than the green ones did. And you just do it really lightly. You don't have to, you know, dig into it or anything. If it's got some, like, stuff on the edges, I probably should bring you in closer. But just get some of these green edges off. This fragrance smells really, really good, you guys. I recommend it. It's definitely a warm Christmas scent and would be fabulous in candles. So I'm probably going to order more in order to make at least wax melts with them, if not candles. And we haven't made those kinds of things together in a long time, so we'll see what happens. I'll talk to my daughter about it and find out if she wants to do that. And you'll start seeing her in more videos coming up here pretty soon because she's going to move back into the house. My daughter-in-law... Um, left and we get Alex on the weekends and my daughter and her husband want to save for a house so my husband and I are like you know come here save your money you know that's what you do so anyway so what we're going to do to prep these donuts is really simple let me bring you in a little bit closer I'm going to put you down some too So what we're going to do, oh, need the pointy tip, is we're going to mark these all up. We're going to stick the, the actual, you know, skewer in there and make sure there are marks on every single one of these donuts. And the reason we do this is to help the new soap stick to the old. Well, yes, we will still alcohol. It just makes it easier for everything to stick. I try to make X's in them, like, you know, X, 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 you know, so that way I'm at least getting most of the surface of it. Now, these have been out of the mold for, oh, 
several days. I had a piece of soap on it, I'm sorry. Um, but they've been face down, so not a lot of air has gotten to them. They are still soft enough that this is going in a good distance as far as like, you know, oh, what, what am I thinking? To where the soap is going to stick, no problem. I'll try to bring one up and hopefully you can actually see what I've done to it. Like, see, here's a smooth one. There's a smooth one. And then here's one of the marked up ones. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, but hopefully you will. I won't know until... When you guys are at that angle that I have you at right now, there's a big glare on my lens. Or not on my lens, on my viewfinder. So, alright, and then I'm going to put these back on the, the tray. Because we will ultimately assemble these donuts on the tray. Okay. Get rid of that in the garbage. Alright. And then we have our press and seal. Because that is definitely thick enough for me to uh, put in press and seal at least. There we go. But what I want to do, because of the way that I, I twist and turn the piping tip, and we're using not the same one I did for the pie. This one has more of a curved uh, outing for it. So what I want to do, oh, you know, stir that up. That's what I want to do, I stir the head up. Because with Russian piping tips, no matter which one you're using, whether it's the ball tip, the actual like flower tips, and they also have um, like ribbon tips is is the best way that I can I can explain it. Um, I've done it on a few soaps before, and maybe I'll show you because it's like the, it makes these really cool waves and lines without you even having to do anything. And I own all three kinds, so we'll see. We'll find a soap to do it on. How's that? So what I want to do is I want to lay a little bit of white. A little bit of white. Does that white look chunky to you? It's kind of chunky to me. That's weird. It's weird. A little bit of gold. Ooh, that was a lot of bit of gold right there. Maybe I want to make it longer than that. I don't know. I mean, I have 18 inch piping bags, so I could go a little bit longer because I'm trying to do like half of each one. Okay. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, what is wrong with you, Sue Lynn? Okay. And then white. And I'm probably not going to need this much piping, but I said, you know, I'd rather have too much than too little. I mean, because these aren't going to be like little bitty donuts. These are going to be heightened, you know, I'm going to have, there's going to be some height on them. And I have decorations for them, which as a matter of fact, I better paint those bows while I'm waiting for this to finish uh, setting up. I have some gold bows. I used my gold soap dough, but I want to paint them gold so they stick out. So, but anyway, yeah, so you get the picture. This is what we're doing. I want to stick some there, too. I'm running out of room. I want to be able to... 
I want to be able to close the bag. That would be helpful, you know? Okay, so that's it. Let me put these back where they were. All right. So I'm going to fold this up into a nice sausage, like a so. Here we go, we have a soap sausage. Sausage. And hopefully this uh, stiffens up quick enough. So I'm going to paint. Let me show you what, what we have for... So I have the gold bows. I have the gold bows. And I made stockings. So those are the decorations we're going to use for the top. And these are scented, the stockings are, because this is the leftover soap from the donuts, <laughs> which is really funny. So I'm going to get the bows painted and um, wash the dishes and everything else. And I will see you in a few. Bye-bye. I -bye. love them because that bag is pretty full, even though I'm going to be putting it in a large piping bag. Whoop! If I can put my gloves on right, this will work. <laughs> I'm only going to spray these lightly with alcohol. That way the piping sticks. Let me cut this bad boy off. And we will, uh, stuff this in a piping bag. I'll be using two separate piping bags for this. Um, for, you know, the inside of the donut and then for the top. I love the way this looks when it's coming out. I think I showed you on my coffee video. Come on. Oh, let me twist my bag some more. Oh, it comes out like that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to twist, 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 twist. And then you got to be really careful when you pull up. Oh, wrong side. Twist, 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 and then up. Oh, it's a good thing I have this here. I'm going to put a little bit more on this one. Let me get my gold set right. Now, oh, I'm glad I caught that in my hand. <laughs> now, what has to happen is we have to let this set up um, even on the donut. Because if we don't, then the weight of the top of it will smush it and we don't want that and I'm debating whether or not to make it taller I think I want it a little bit taller damn it come on and if you have to clean it up just you know move it with a with a skewer because they're not going to be able to see the top of that. There we go. All right. Oh, wait a minute. Forgot a part. This has got to come in just a little bit. There we go. So we're going to let that uh, do its thing. Now let's get... these here. Let me make sure y'all can see them. Let me pull you back just a little bit. Make sure you can see them. So I'm just going to go ahead and put um, actually I'm going to do it like this. Can you still see them? Okay. That way I put you know two red ones, you know the, the bottoms on two red ones, the bottoms on two green ones so I can you know put the tops on there. So that is what we're going to do oh, just lightly. So I, you know, I have the alcohol bottle quite a bit away. And 
And we will be going back and fixing, you know, what's there or not there. This tip is actually working pretty good. The, the piping is getting a little bit soft in my hand, so that doesn't help any at all. But we've talked about my hot hands before. Come on, be nice. This is not any fun at all. I have to get a few waves over there. Just a few. And if you manipulate it the way I am, it usually is good. You can give the wavy look still without having it perfect. Because who wants perfection, right? It's handmade. Okay. So again, we are going to leave these to, uh, oh, those are a little bit higher. I'm trying to figure out exactly how high I'm actually going to make these. But I think these are, these are okay. It's these ones that need a little work. I'm putting it in the center and don't worry about the soap falling through the center hole of the soap because they're not going it's not going to so I'm going to change piping bags where is it it is all right hopefully I don't move you guys too much so I'm going to let this sit for a minute and this is the great thing about using glad wrap if I can pull this bag oh, if I can get my hand inside the bag and pull this bag out. Yeah, it's definitely loosening up. And then I can throw it in this bag. And then, woo! And then once I'm ready to go, we're going to have to let this thicken up again to do the top. However, um, let me take this off. It shouldn't take long for me to be able to put the, the tops on the bottom. Um, I'm going to spray them with alcohol to help them set up. You know what, why don't I do that and stop messing with that piping tip. I'm going to spray these ones over here too. And yeah, we'll be back when that piping resets back up and when I can um, confidently put the top on the, on there. Sorry, this is falling over. I'll have to scrape that. That's the one thing you have to watch for. I love these tips. But sometimes they're a real pain in the butt, as you saw. <laughs> they can. They can be a real pain in the butt. And I really don't want extra soap on here in order to make it any more difficult to take off the donut. Here's what I'm talking about. There's soap right here. So I want to make sure to get all of that off before I put the tops on there. And I didn't have that, I don't think I had that problem over here. Let me check and make sure. No, I did not. Okay. So we're going to, I'm going to give it about five minutes and then I will go ahead and put the tops on. I'll lightly spray the tops again if they're dry right now, there's alcohol on the, on these. But that way we do that and then I'm going to use this tip in order to 
put some frosting on the very top in the top hole and then we will decorate them. I thought about using melt and pour to sort of make it look like snow on the top of it but I, I decided against it because I'll be putting this relatively high the the piping on the top I'll be putting it relatively high so you know in order to put the the bows and stockings and all that kind of thing so and I think I'm gonna keep the bows with the green donuts so that means even with those with the red and the green only I'm gonna put the bow only on the one that has the green on top and I know I'm I'm like talking way too much so I'm gonna go <laughs> give it about five minutes all right bye we are ready light 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 I'm gonna take this one first can you guys see? Okay. And we are going to put it on top of there. I'm going to make sure that it is even. We want to make sure that it is even. Oh, I need to take. need to take some of that soap off. I'm sorry. I thought I got it all. There's some in the middle too. What do you know? So I want to make sure that this is even. So I sort of, you know, look at it from above. I don't think there's enough. Soap. <laughs> I don't think there's enough soap in between this one. But we got what we got, right? And this one, like I so, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna push this out of the way and bring that other tray in here really quick. And then I'll transfer them onto one, I'll transfer everything onto this tray. So spray just a little bit. Dang it. See, it's slippery even without, uh, so let me move this, I need a skewer, okay, and then the red one on the green. And we want to make sure that this one is straight as well. Okay. Let's be very careful. Let's be very careful, Sue Lynn. And not mess everything up. push some of this out just a little bit on this one. I think they look pretty good. Okay, I hope you guys saw all that. <laughs> can you see? Okay. Just want to make sure you can see. Now, oh, actually I'm going to turn it back this way and move this over just a teensy bit. Make sure you can see all of them or at least most of them. Okay, so I'm going to twist my bag, and I'm going to do the same thing as I did with the Russian piping tip to give it a twisty kind of look. This is not straight. There we go. Actually, I'm not going to have as much piping left as I thought I was going to have. Okay, so 
on the green one. I want the gold bow. So I'm going to set it in there and on there. Did you see that? I'm not sure if you saw that. I'll try to bring one up to show you. You know, and of course this is how I will package them. I just think the gold looks really pretty with the green. This needs more piping for what I want to do with the stockings. Okay. So what I want to do with the stockings is I want to put them like one low and then one higher. Eh, no, that's not going to work. Just a little bit higher like that then. I don't know if that looks Christmassy enough. I don't know! <laughs> so one on the low side. And then one just a little bit higher. I should have sprayed these with alcohol. And then one more. So just a little bit lower. And then just a little bit higher. I am going to put glitter on these. Because, well, they need glitter. It's Christmas time. Oh, crap! I used all my glitter in that thing. I gotta go grab my other thing of glitter. Because there's not enough in there. Well, I am gonna glitter them. You'll see. So here is... I want to make sure I pick it up and not mess it up. So here's the, the green one. Can you see it? Okay. I'm going to put it down where it's not going to be messed up. And the, all the red ones look like this. This is just one of the red and green ones. This is the red. So we have the two stockings on there. And like I said, I'm going to put glitter on all of these. Um, not a ton, just a little bit. Enough to just give it some sparkle. And yeah. So that's the rest of our Christmas donuts. I hope you guys had a good time. I'm sad that Ava wasn't able to be here, but yesterday was her birthday, August 27th. She was very excited. She got to have her birthday at the beach, so she loved it. Anyway, guys, thanks as always for sticking with me, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.